<laughs> What's up guys? Sean from SRKCycles.com And we have a... This bike is crazy. This bike straight out of Mad Max. This is a 1991 Harley Davidson FLHTP. P means police bike. If it's got these turn things for the saddlebags, that means it's a police bike. It also has stuff like siren, horn, stuff like that. That would actually be a pursuit button. Um... Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, oh it's a piece of junk. This thing is awesome. If you look at the motor, it was just rebuilt. And it's all, it's got this patina look. That's not oil and grease. It's actually a really, really clean engine. It doesn't leak any oil. They're actually, they, they, their goal was to make it look like that. The flat black roughness is cool. It's got brand new tires front and back. Look, it even has the knobs on the front of the tread. And this thing runs so well. It blows my mind away how good it runs. I love it. I think it's cool. Um, it's got a good feel to it. Killer look. So you get that old looking rough rat bike bagger look. But it runs so well. So you don't have to deal with all the, the maintenance and stuff like that. Let me, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Put on choke for a little bit. Look at that. You see how good that fired up? Steel braided lines. I'm already about to I'm about to take it off choke. This thing runs really, really well. Like I'm just the word I'm looking for is flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. It's it's it's, it's surprisingly smooth. Fires up real good. It doesn't. It does not feel like an old bike. When I would look at a bike like this, I'd make that's a piece of junk. It's gonna run like crap. It's gonna be a hassle to ride. You gotta do a bunch of goofy stuff to get it to fire up. But that's just not the case. And for how cheap I'm selling it, to get, to get a bike like this for less than 5k, that's cool. It's got the radio. I mean, whoever built this thing, they got the steel braided lines, steel braided lines over here. They put some money into it. They did a good job, but they want, they were going for this style. They wanted that look, and they did a, they, they got it. I actually just uh, I just picked up a new camera it's actually called a uh, it's the new TomTom Tom Bandit it's on the top of my helmet right now I'm trying to see if I can get it to fire up I can't tell if it's working or not because I can't I can't hear it Hopefully it's working, but it's got a yeah, it's got a G-force gauge on it, and I'm actually gonna start measuring these bikes to see what kind of G's they pull when I accelerate coming out of the uh, coming out of the church parking lot. I'm pretty excited about it. Not that this is gonna be any you know crazy G pooler, but uh, it's just it's it's gonna be an interesting gauge to compare to compare these bikes to other bikes and just you know kind of see how they uh, how they do I like this bike I'm incredibly impressed with it this is the type of unusual bike I would consider owning for myself just because it's cheap and it runs good and it looks like it just looks awesome you ride a bike like this you automatically have personality I love it beautiful day outside and uh, I don't know for sure when it comes to these older bikes. I don't have the eye for it, but this does have an SNS intake, um, 
some other guys looked at and they're like, hey, that, that must be, an, that, that's an SNS motor. I'm like, well, how can you tell? And they really couldn't give me a good answer. So I don't know if it is an SNS motor, but it's very likely it is. Um, it doesn't feel sluggish or anything, but I've, I don't think I've ever ridden a 91. So I wouldn't know anyway. But I know it runs extremely well. I mean, you saw how easy it fired up. That was from a cold start. I haven't ridden this thing all day. And like I said, brand new tires. You just buy this thing, hop on it, ride, have yourself a good old time. Brakes feel nice. Honestly, I couldn't be more impressed with this bike. And I like that old rough, we'll call it a rat bagger, rat bagger. bad this thing is a it's a fun bike someone's gonna buy this thing they're gonna make oh that's what I wanted I love that bike and they're gonna love it they're gonna ride around forever and they're gonna get all the girls anybody can go and buy a brand new bike off the shelf it takes someone with like style and stories to buy something that looks like this and ride it around like a man that's all I gotta say about that I mean, this thing has no problem cruising at 60 miles an hour feels nice and smooth you can hop on this thing take a big trip around Take a trip across the country, wherever you want. You can take a trip wherever you like. That'd be pretty wild for someone to buy this thing in a different state and fly in and drive this home. That'd be an adventure. I just sold a VTX 1800 to a guy from New York that took the train in. I picked him up. Drove the thing back, real nice guy. I love meeting people like that. I try to show people a good time, you know what I mean? A lot of times I'll take people out for breakfast or lunch or something if I pick them up. At least I'll try to buy them a soda. Soda. Man, this bike is impressive. I would imagine this bike is gonna sell this weekend. I got it listed online for 4800 bucks. You could buy a junkie sportster or you could buy this. And it actually handles pretty good. Pretty impressed with the way it handles. Guys, selling a lot of bikes this month. I'm getting a lot of cool stuff in. Oh man, I just bit, I just bit my inner lip. Ugh. Like it's my first day with my new mouth. Biting my lip like a newbie. Selling a lot of bikes, shipping bikes. I just shipped the bike to California. It was a 2004, what was it? Super Glide. That was a nice bike, that little red one. If you guys remember that one. Guys, this is Sean from SRK Cycles. Selling bikes and loving life.
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. And, and remember, guys, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.